Today we're going to be talking about this gorgeous dry point and aquatint that was done in 1898 by the artist Mary Cassatt. Mary Cassatt was the only American participant in the French Impressionist movement and one of the few women artists that were part of the group. This particular print was done in 1898 and it's when she shifted from painting and doing pastels and prints of the modern single woman's experience to looking at the relationship of the mother and child. If you look at the particular pose here, she's basing this on traditional images of the Madonna and child that she studied when she was a student still and traveling in Italy and Spain. She's taking this spiritual relationship between the Madonna and child and she's putting it in a modern context. Not only do we have this modernization of the spiritual relationship between mother and child, but we also see uh, Cassatt interested in the actual psychological state of the child with its mother. You can see that Cassatt chose to depict the mother in profile, and she's gazing very intently and adoringly at the child. The child is not returning her gaze, however. This was something that uh, was a psychological state that Freud, Sigmund Freud, who was actually uh, a contemporary of Cassatt's in the 1890s, and this idea uh, that Jacques Lacan will go on to call the mirror stage is a moment in which the child or the baby realizes that it is a separate individual being. And if you look at the image below here, which is looking into the hand mirror, you can see a child seated on its mother's lap and it's looking at itself in the mirror. And it really, as I said, is very much in time with this notion of a new state of the psychological development of a child. In 1890, she actually went to the Echo de Beaux-Arts exhibition, and Echo de Beaux-Arts is the French term for the Academy of Fine Arts that was in Paris. The Echo was having a exhibition of Japanese woodblock prints, and so this print of uh, in which Cassatt combines dry point with aqua tint in an attempt to kind of develop this uh, or emulate what was going on in Japanese woodblock prints. If you look very closely, what dry point is, is you take a needle, an etching tool, to a copper plate, and you're making the outlines by scraping the needle across the plate. The French Impressionists loved etching because it had that free form. Um, it allowed people, uh, artists, to be very sketchy. In the areas that you see color, what Cassatt actually did was she made a separate plate. And that's where the aqua tint actually comes in. Aqua tint, rather than being a straight resin that was applied to the plate before it was dipped into acid, um, the ground for aqua tint actually combines particles of that resin and it is painted across where you want to create these different colors. Cassatt also wanted to demonstrate that she was approaching this technique as a painter. As you look closely, you can see that there are spatter marks and she's actually taking the brush with the varnish on it and splattering the image. This creates uh, what she called errors or mistakes in the print and each print had its own kind of individual marks. So as you look very closely, you can see her use of color is something that she's also playing around with and looking at Japanese woodblock prints. She's laying color on flat, and she actually used a bundle of rags, which she would dip into her color and then move it with her hand to create the color that you see. Cassatt is a very fitting figure to think about in the promotion of modern woman and the promotion of the notion of modern women artists. Thank you.